Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am trying to reclaim my faith in my art. Um, as you guys know, I have done a few paintings with this Rick's Mix paint and it has come out beautiful in the painting and then dried absolutely awful i'm not a fan of overly runny paint but this heavy white is way too heavy uh and so we've also got the heavy black which i haven't even opened so what i thought i would do is do a black and white painting <laughs> and you're going ah a black and white painting you haven't done one of those for ages i know right so that is what we will do today i have two matching containers that's the heavy white and this is the heavy black And it, it's it's thick, guys. Can you tell how thick that is? Um, so, one thing I can think of for using this heavy white and heavy black for is as a cover. You know, to, to paint a canvas, almost like gesso. But that's, I'm not going to leave that on the, that canvas, hold on, let me move that. Um, it's going to get way too heavy. But I didn't want to, to do that. I didn't, I don't do a lot of pre-painting my canvases. So I thought, well, how about we put some Floetrol in it. and thin it down and use it create something beautiful with it get a fabulous result and go from there so i'm just going to give these two a really good stir get that really well mixed in and i'll be right back Okay, I gave them a really good stir. And what I want to show you, because you guys saw the, the levels were even before and after I put the flow troll. I stirred them in really, 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 really well. The white is getting quite nice and runny. The black has got this gloopiness. And I've probably stirred this more than I've stirred the white, to be honest. And it's... getting there but it's not great so I'm gonna add a little bit of water too now I'm not recommending this this is not recommended by Rick one thing I did notice with Rick's mix with Rick when I went back and watched Rick's videos where he's using his Rick's mix one of the things he does is he uses those wooden painting blocks that he sells, that counterculture sells. Um, and they they won't sag. <laughs> if your bench that you put them on is level, they will be level, hopefully. They're made right, of course. Um, it's better. It's still not great. So, I, I'm just going to have some fun. You know what? I tried desperately to get great results with this for the promotion, for the giveaway in the group. And I really don't think I'm going to accept 
free stuff to try on in the future because it just stresses me out. It's not fun for me to try and prove somebody's products right or wrong or good or bad. It just doesn't isn't fun for me. So there you go. What am I going to do with this? It's a really great question. I could end up with a really ugly grey smear. But the whole plan is to have fun. So first off I'm gonna do a bit of a kiss pour. And just you see that blobbiness that the back is doing. Reminds me of gelatinous, like um, a type of you know the flower and water paint glue that you make for kids. Not saying that's what it is, absolutely not. But that's what the gelatinous ness. It looks like a. A horse with no head. <laughs> okay. Next up, we've got Can you see I'm going to have lots of fun making this painting? That's something I would love to be the invitation to. It's for you to just let go. Do what you want to do. Be you. Have fun. And just keep playing. Keep choosing for you. Let's see what magic we can create. Can you see? What's oozing out the bottom there? Again, it's quite thick. still very thick compared to the standard pouring paint in his range. But it's okay. I'm having fun and that's the important bit. <laughs> I always wish that you can just let your paint dry at the thickness it comes out of that um, sink strainer because it's always so funky. Look at that. But you have to stretch it. So let's zoom you back out so you don't miss anything. And let's just stretch that down this side. Oh my god, this is so much fun. No expectations. No projections about what it should look like. Just following the energy, following the joy. What would be fun for me next? Where would the paint like to go? Hmm. 
now. If you were me, what would you do? <laughs> oh, we've definitely got a wobbly spot here. How's it get better than this? So I'm gonna put in some black. Put in some white. And let's see what this wants to do. some funky lacing happening on that bit that's cool I like it I like it let's pop these ear bubbles this paint is really not liking having been mixed like this but that's okay this is not how this paint has been designed to be used so please don't blame the paint for this this is me having fun that out to be washed just gonna let it drip off the side here and then run it Stretching it out all the way down that side there. You are now seeing a black and white beach scene. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is like the the foam dragging back and leaving those ridges in the um So this black is just freaking out and breaking up and going all grainy. It's like a really old picture that's been blown up too big. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? How much more fun can we have? Now, I'm going to try not to buy into that point of view of what this is because now I want to start like building a rocky edge. <laughs> so you've got the, the sea, the sand and some rocks, but you know, that's not going to happen. Um, blah, 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 blah. The one thing I haven't done is... a dirty cut pour and try and get that white out of the black so I'm just going to put several layers of black and white Right. 
Don't like all that. Something's missing in this corner. Maybe it's paint. <laughs> what is missing? Oh, I know. I know. So I'm going to put some black. God, look how goopy that is. That's... I think that's even goopier than when I started. It's like it's got some sort of chain reaction going on in there, but that's okay. Traveling ring pause. over the edge all the way through and I'm just going to drag that right straight back down can you see that? Okay. Just to see if it'll run along that separation point already. Just like that. really like that the way the gray has developed there and the breaking up of the black it's awesome <laughs> this looks like a little leaf that it's stemmed as it falls down it kind of looks like some sort of whaley, dolphin-y kind of. Really love that patch there. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I. I feel like I want to mess with that bit in the middle and I also don't <laughs> it's that moment where the universe is going stop please just stop and I'm going but I want to play I want to play I have a point of view that there shouldn't be a big white patch ah <laughs> I like it it's weird it's wacky and I really really like it um, 
like really like it really really like it i'm so glad i did this painting all right guys i'm gonna put this aside there's some funky drippings underneath i'm gonna see if they are worth capturing on a cabochon if not i will be back to show you the dry result just after these messages <laughs> So what do you think? I'm really, really pleased with the result. It has not moved at all. It is dry. Can you tell? It's no longer shiny. It is matte. Um, but it is exactly as we left it. The breakage that occurred when we were pouring it hasn't got any worse. We haven't... Um, got giant cracks like we had in that <laughs> last one that I screwed up I was so mad with myself um, and I really like it it's it's got texture that's what it's got <laughs> it's got texture um, so we've still got the big whale like thing there can see that we've still got our little acorn looking leaf there I really like the the lines in this section that's funky I really like the lines in that section that's funky <laughs> just um, one of those pieces that you could probably just sit and meditate to, I think. And stare at all the different things and see lots of different things. and I like it. I like it a lot. So, now with these ones, I always like to look at them from different angles. So, we've got angle one. Then we're going to go this way. And I turn anti-clockwise each time. You know what that I can see there? It's almost like a ballerina. There's a skirt and a leg and her hair as she leans back and another leg going up that way. Or there's the chin, the weird lips, the crooked nose, going back into the eye, forehead and weird hair of some angular scary looking oh actually i think that might even be a mustache <laughs> so that's option two let me know what you can see in which areas in the comments because this is cool there's so much to see and then we've got that way and i actually think it looks more like the beach from this angle so you're standing on the land here and there's the sea and coming in pulling the foam pulling back from the beach uh, this might be a bit of um, root system you know like um, well it's been washed up on the shore but it's roots so it's all t like a tangled mess of wood so that's Option three, I want you to tell me in the comments what you, which way would you hang it? And there's option four. What am I seeing in that one? I'm not sure. Maybe it's, there's the head, the arm, somebody carrying somebody on its back. Climbing up a hill. It's the leg. Oh, we've got some sort of big backpack. So if you cut off that and that's the person climbing up the hill. And you've got some sort of backpack or his ladyship on his back. And so that's number four. So there you go guys. Tell me in the comments which way would you hang it. 
and what do you see in each of the different ones because that's funky I like it it's weird it really is but I do like it so I had fun with this piece and that to me is what painting is all about it's about having fun letting your creative juices run wild and uh, seeing what shows up so thank you Rex Mix for your heavy paints not designed to be mixed with flow troll but I did and look what I got <laughs> anyway I have another painting coming to you from Rex Mix after that no idea I haven't painted it yet but uh got a great result with that one as well so that video will come out in a few days and if you have enjoyed this and you haven't yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and uh, come play with me some more if you would like to financially support me you can either just make sure the ads run during my videos you can send me money via patreon or my coffee account in the description below you can sign up as a patron and there's lots of options there uh, or you could even buy some of my work what a concept anyway guys i adore you uh just a hint we do have 2021 calendar pre-sale happening at the moment there is i think 12 left available so be in quick and um yeah it will be to you before christmas so i adore you have fun and i will see you in the next video bye bye